ever wondered how internet works where is so much of information stored and how does it exactly reach us well 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 rtb ignite is right here to explain you everything but first let us hear a story long long ago there was a city named murika a lot of people lived there each had his own land and there he grew vegetables for his own one day a group of people decided to farm their land more and share vegetables with each other but how there was a problem there were no roads hence the government decided to lay down the first ever road of murika and named it the arpa road to this road were connected all those farms which wanted to share their vegetables with each other thus the flow of vegetables was set gradually more and more people wanted to share their vegetables so farms were divided into different groups and each group was given a storage unit some farms produced so many vegetables that they had their own independent storage unit the arpa road was modified into an inter highway which connected all the storage units and facilitated exchange of vegetables on a larger scale now there came new people in murika who did not produce vegetables but desired to buy them but how do they do so mr woda a sharp businessman decided to make money out of this situation he laid down his own network of roads that connected these new houses to the inter highway and set up his own transport system whenever any person wanted to buy any vegetables from any storage mr woda would bring it to him whichever the farm and whatever the vegetables be mr woda would charge people only on the basis of kilograms of vegetable they wanted and the speed with which the delivery was expected this way all the people of murika had access to enough vegetables to satisfy their needs and hence with their tummies full everybody lived happily nice story yeah this is exactly how internet works the lands in the city of murika are the memory spaces of various computers and vegetables are the information stored in them in 1960 the american military wanted to connect all its computers for sharing their information and hence developed the arpanet then eventually common people became the part of this information exchange so servers were set up these servers stored the data from different websites now big websites like facebook youtube were like those big farms which produced so much of information that they had their own independent servers arpanet was now upgraded to internet internet is not a road though it's a wire yes just a wire and everybody who is connected to this wire can share data with each other now people like us who want to access information need a medium right mr woda was nothing but vodafone and similarly idea airtel are the internet service providers isp who lay network to connect our personal computers to the internet they charge you not for the website you see but for the kgs uh, oops i mean the gbs of data and the speed that is 2g 3g or 4g and this is how internet reaches us thank you